Thessaloniki. So it's an island in, in Greece. Do you go there a lot? <laughs> Not really. I've, I've been to Thessaloniki once and I've been to Athens once. Got Greek food from a restaurant called All. I think All You Can Eat. <laughs> So what have we actually got? We've got a meat platter. It's a platter. Some bread. It looks lamb, like lamb. Chicken. chicken lemon. <laughs> so chips. It, there's chips in there. Then we've got a Greek salad. With feta cheese. Feta cheese and olives. And oregano. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we've got hummus. Is there like... That, that hummus looks like it's got carrots in it. Is there like a Greek hummus or is all hummus Greek? Like is that a Greek thing? taken everything off the memory card and this is there something that we need to do kind of record but it keeps stopping the recording 
<laughs> I reckon, yeah, fuck it, you can. Obviously, if you're ready to do the work that backs it, you wanna be a, if you wanted to be a singer tomorrow, then I wouldn't say no, do you know what I mean? But then they'd always, you'd always have to say, this is the work that will go that will go into it. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, with things like acting or singing, like you go to school and you study drama and you might be really good at that, so you know you'd be good. Yeah. Or like singing, people just tell you you've got a great voice. Mm-hmm. With styling, it's one of those like, one, you don't really study fashion in school, like in secondary school, primary school. Yeah. And like, how, how would you know that you're good at it? And like, what is what motivates you to be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. Or if, if you've got a really good sense of style, mm-hmm. you might not really be good at styling. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because really it's good. about getting to know that person. You can't just always project your own mm-hmm. vision mm-hmm. onto them because it might not suit their body shape. It might not suit their them as a person. Yeah. So with people that I, that I start working with, I always really want to get to know them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't just want to like start working on a job and do it that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, it's so much nicer if you actually go and sit down with someone for, for a yeah. long amount of time and really just have a chat about their lives, mm-hmm. where they grew up, all of that, mm-hmm. like, just like this. So how do you prepare for like, let's say you were styling a shoot or something like that, how would you prepare for it? Because they give you like a little bit of a, a good amount of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm always, str- I, always stressing. Really? So I'll probably make a mood board. Mm-hmm pages of ideas and then I'll send it over to them and see what they what kind of what they like from the mood board and it depends on how much time we've got really and also what the job is if it's more like a creative direction thing or if it's like a music video and there's mm-hmm. a story to it or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, just depends <laughs> oh, you how old are you you're like my dad so you know how you mentioned you used to be an assistant I don't know we work with a lot of stylists mm-hmm. and their assistants like we speak to we speak to the assistants more than we see the stylists. Mm. Do you think like in fashion styling, assistants can be sometimes mistreated when they're doing a lot of the work in terms of the labour, mm. or like, is there a problem in that in the fashion world in that area? I don't know, but I've never been mistreated. Like I always want them to feel good and. Mm treat them well because I don't want someone to come on set and be really like yeah, yeah. nervous to you like be to around as best as they can. Yeah exactly. Yeah. Do you think you can so be I always fill them with I always fill them <laughs> with confidence. <laughs> I think maybe but I think in my personal life I've always had people saying that I'm quite intimidating but I think people just don't know me. I grew up hanging around with loads of boys mm. and I was the only girl in the group of boys. Mm. So I feel like and I feel like I was, like, I bossed them all around. Mm-hmm. But they're quite, they're all quite alpha, alpha oh, males. Yeah. So I think maybe from someone else's perspective, they might think, like, who's this girl? Yeah. Girl, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually so, I'm like sensitive. Yeah. If anyone, I can just, I can give it, but if anyone says anything back to me, I'm like, <laughs> I get so upset. <laughs> okay. Should I do the question? Yeah, get a question. Oh, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this. Think you let things slide from a guy that you wouldn't with friends? Yeah, obviously, all the time. Rules <laughs> are always different. If I'm seeing someone mm. to like what I would allow with my friends, always. Yeah. I'd say, but I find it really weird. Yeah. No, definitely. I feel like guys can get away with so much. If you have feelings for someone, you kind of, you still want them and you're, you're scared that because you never had that foundation of friendship, maybe mm-hmm. that they'll just leave. Have you ever had a fight? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I went to an all girls school um, and literally like, so I don't know, yeah, li- like there was so many fights. There was at least like one fight every week. You know when you're in, a room just full of girls, like 24, like 7 or however like many hours you spend in school. It's just, you just get irritated. Essay. Oh <laughs> oh, I'm bad at these ones. Have you ever been approached by a guy to work on a job and you go for a meeting but really he just wanted to chirp to you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> and this is so relevant, stop it. It's stop relevant, it. isn't it? Like, I've even like, gone, on a meet- gone on a meeting and like, Ray got there before me, and then I walked in and I just knew this guy's oh, trying to move to Ray. Mm. He's so not in this conversation with me. <laughs> and like, I was just sat there like, I'm not even gonna say anything because this is clearly a date. And she was just like, 
giving it the, oh, and our services include, <laughs> and he's all the whole time just staring at her. <laughs> that happened a lot at the beginning of my career. Mm. Not a lot, but enough. Do you know yeah. what I mean? A couple of times. Yeah. Like, and it just made me, some, it made me hate being a, a woman, like a young woman entering, yeah. entering the business because it made me just feel kind of like, that shouldn't, that shouldn't happen, yeah. you know what I mean? If you allow it, then it just continues. Mm. And it makes you feel uncomfortable and you can't do your job properly, yeah. which I think is like the worst part. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming on, Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back soon and we'll put in... Who have you got on next episode? I We're not 100% sure yet. And we'll put these hand social handles as well if you want to follow her, look at her work. She's done a lot of really cool things.